closed treatment of shoulder dislocation, with manipulation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The most common form of shoulder dislocation is the traumatic anterior inferior dislocation. A closed manipulation requires the patient to be positioned to allow the arm to hang forward. The physician applies gentle traction to distract the joint and manually relocates the glenohumeral joint back into position. Closed treatment of carpometacarpal dislocation, other than thumb, with manipulation, each joint, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician determines the dislocated position of the bone. The physician uses external manipulation to relocate the bone. Closed treatment of metacarpophalangeal dislocation, single, with manipulation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician determines the dislocated position of the bone. The physician uses external manipulation to relocate the bone. Closed treatment of interphalangeal joint dislocation, single, with manipulation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician determines the dislocated position of the bone and uses external manipulation to relocate the bone. Closed treatment of hip dislocation, traumatic, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. Two types of closed reduction techniques are used depending on the type of dislocation, the Stimson maneuver and the Alice maneuver. General or spinal anesthesia is applied. The Stimson maneuver is a procedure for posterior dislocations. The patient is positioned prone, face down, with the lower limbs hanging from the end of the table. Stabilizing pressure is placed on the sacrum. The physician holds the knee and ankle flexed to 90 degrees and applies gentle downward pressure to the leg, just below the knee. The Alice maneuver is a procedure for anterior dislocations. The patient is positioned supine. The pelvis is stabilized and lateral traction force is applied to the inside of the thigh. The physician applies longitudinal traction in line with the axis of the femur, and gently abducts and internally rotates the femur to achieve reduction. Other techniques similar to those described above may also be used. After reduction, light skin traction may be applied. Treatment of closed elbow dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The forearm typically dislocates posteriorly. The physician manually reduces, realigns, the dislocation with pressure to the area. The elbow is placed in a posterior elbow splint or elbow brace at 90 degrees of flexion with the forearm supinated. Closed treatment of knee dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The knee is usually aspirated, and placed in a posterior splint for support. The physician may do further tests to evaluate ligamentous, capsular, meniscal, and vascular integrity. The knee is usually placed in a splint or immobilizer. Closed treatment of patellar dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. When the patella dislocates, it typically moves to the lateral side of the knee and off of the femoral condyles. An X-ray may be taken to check the position of the patella. A splint or brace may be applied to give the patella additional support. Closed treatment of proximal tibia fibular joint dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. 
No open surgery or extensive manipulation is necessary Indiana 27830. Anesthesia is necessary Indiana 27831 to perform manipulation of the leg and correctly aligning the bones. The physician applies a brace or splint to the leg and need to hold the bones in appropriate position while healing takes place. Closed treatment of ankle dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia, with or without percutaneous skeletal fixation. The physician treats a dislocation of the ankle joint without anesthesia Indiana 27840. Separately reportable x-rays confirm that the ankle joint requires no manipulation or open surgery. A cast or brace is applied to stabilize the dislocation. In 27842, anesthesia is required to perform manipulation of the dislocated ankle joint. Closed treatment of ankle dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia, with or without percutaneous skeletal fixation. The physician treats a dislocation of the ankle joint without anesthesia Indiana 27840. Separately reportable x-rays confirm that the ankle joint requires no manipulation or open surgery. A cast or brace is applied to stabilize the dislocation. In 27842, anesthesia is required to perform manipulation of the dislocated ankle joint. Percutaneous skeletal fixation, such as pins may be applied. The physician makes small incisions in the skin and inserts the pins through the skin and into the bones of the ankle joint. No open incisions are necessary. When the ankle joint is stabilized, the physician applies a cast or brace. Closed treatment of tarsal bone dislocation other than talotarsal, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician reduces a tarsal bone dislocation, other than talotarsal, without requiring anesthesia. The physician manipulates the involved bones to restore normal anatomy and function. Closed treatment of talotarsal joint dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician treats talotarsal joint dislocation without surgery. The physician may use separately reportable x-rays to identify dislocation and congruency of joint surfaces. The physician manipulates the bones back into position. A short leg cast is applied with the foot in a plantar flexed position. Closed treatment of tarsometatarsal joint dislocation without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The patient is positioned supine on the table. The physician manually manipulates the foot in an effort to reposition the tarsal and metatarsal bones I. Closed treatment of metatarsophalangeal joint dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The patient is placed supine on the table. The physician manually manipulates the foot in order to reduce the dislocation of the metatarsophalangeal joint, joint between the long bone of the foot and the toe. Closed treatment of interphalangeal joint dislocation, without anesthesia. Requiring anesthesia. The physician reduces a dislocation of an interphalangeal joint of a toe without the need of anesthesia. Separately reportable x-rays are obtained which identify the specific dislocation. The physician manipulates the toe without performing surgery to reduce the dislocation. Post-reduction x-rays are obtained.